In our rapidly evolving world, success is defined by turning challenges into opportunities. With enough foresight and ingenuity, the complex problems of today can become the achievements of tomorrow. I'm Fred Thompson. From business and technology to health care and the environment, join me as we take a closer look inside the workings of the modern global economy. Welcome to Inside Business. I'm Fred Thompson, and I'm Inside Business. The business of America remains business. It's one of the few cultural institutions that has survived all the nation's trials and tribulations. The modern cycles of economic prosperity and difficulty may revisit us, but America's spirit of entrepreneurship always perseveres. The concept of buying low and selling high makes sense to us all. So, when Shane Baldwin and his colleagues first set out to test their investment strategy in early 2008, hopes for success ran high. You know, we actually, in our first 23 bids, went 0 for 23. It wasn't until our 24th bid that we finally won a bid and figured out how to price these loans accordingly. What Silverleaf Financial was trying to do was something banks have been doing among themselves almost as long as there have been banks. In the industry, it's known as buying paper, in essence, buying the legal rights to a loan. Until recently, private investment firms seldom participated. You know, with the market being overvalued, the real estate market being overvalued, we felt like that would create an opportunity. I remembered reading in the Wall Street Journal a bank that had failed in March of 2008. And before that, there was another bank that failed in January of 2008. Uh, we have seen several banks fail since then. Uh, nearly 100 banks have failed since the early part of 08, and that's what's created the opportunity. When a bank fails, the FDIC steps in and sells the bank's deposits to healthy banks. The loans are packaged and sold off in pools, mostly to other banks. True, banks were failing at an alarming rate, but Silverleaf saw a silver lining. I like to say we buy good loans from bad banks. Our model is to buy loans where the underlying collateral has cash flow and are commercial typically in nature. So that if we end up having to take that property back, we end up with a property that has tenants and good cash flow. A simple plan. Buy low, sell high, and fast. Before we make an offer on any asset, we do extensive due diligence research. So there is a lot of science to it. But eventually we've got to determine a bit amount. And that can be as much art form as science. Silverleaf has acquired 20 pools consisting of 37 loans, equaling over $150 million worth of assets. Assets like Suraya. When the bank holding the $6.15 million note on this commercial retail property failed, Silverleaf bought legal rights to it for $3.76 million. One appraisal listed its worth at nearly $8 million. Well, in the case of Soraya, we had an asset with excellent cash flow due to some strong anchor tenants. We had a borrower with excellent W-2 income from sources unrelated to real estate, and his loan was about to mature. These are probably the most important things we look at when trying to decide what assets to bid on. Well, when we purchase a loan, we have an anticipated plan of action. Uh, we never want to foreclose on a property. We want to uh, refinance, restructure the loan as quickly as possible. Um, if we do foreclose on the asset, we know we have uh, underlying collateral that uh, we own at or below market value and can sell it at that price for a profit. So far, about 65% of Silverleaf's acquisitions have been worked out. The others are still in the process. The company is yet to lose money on a venture. You know, the primary challenge is finding good lending institutions that are actually willing to lend out money to our borrowers in order to refinance us out. So what we've had to do to overcome that is discount these loans for our borrowers so that it makes it attractive for another financial institution or lending institution to come in and take us out and refinance us. Well, that's all the time we have for now. We hope you found the program informative. I'm Fred Thompson. Join us again next time as we go Inside Business.